when we first meet Jake, Jake Harden, he's a um, he's working in a bowling alley. Nothing's going his way. He's a janitor. Uh, he's a an aspiring record producer, and he's got this band. He's working with McFly, who's in real life huge in England. And um, he tries really, really hard to succeed and get by, but nothing's going his way. And um, he finally gets to this masquerade ball where um, this famous record producer is going to be. He's about to hand off this this CD that he has when he meets Ashley Albright, this beautiful, talented, and wonderful uh, uh, PR exec. And um, they dance on the dance floor and they kiss. And in that kiss, they exchange luck. And his bad luck transfers to her and he gets all of her great luck. And all of a sudden, things uh, start to brighten up for him. What's great about my character, what's great about Jake is that I, he takes it in stride and I think he has so much gratitude uh, and the relationship that he has with Ashley after it happens is one of empathy. It's like he sees her at a coffee shop um, and he doesn't realize it's the same girl he's kissing. He sees this poor girl that's, that's just trying to get the bite, a bite to eat and he knows that he's been in the same position so he offers her a helping hand. And I think uh, the great message of the movie is that, you know, is that uh, luck or no luck, Success or no success, what's really important is is the person you find that you can share your life with, you know? Yeah, Mackenzie Vega, who played Katie, is, is wonderful, and um, um, she's, uh, she's a great, she's such a composed little girl. I mean, I can't, I remember the first time I met her, I, I'm so bad with children, I was like, so nice to meet you, and she's like, I'm 10. <laughs> so I felt like a total dunce, but um, yeah, she was great, and I thought that was a really important part about Jake, to show that kind of sensitive... Uh, family side, you know. Uh, it was great. She's such a talent, and uh, she's so natural in front of the camera. And um, it was great to work with her because you know she helped me kind of. Uh, uh, you know, I'm so, usually so anxious before I start shooting that she was just that kind of natural ease in front of the camera. Um, I soaked up a little bit of that, which was nice. We had such a great crew, and the guy that uh, that helped design the backpack, we. I think we went through like three designs of the backpack, you know, and until we finally settled on this great kind of really worn, run-down backpack that just seemed to really suit Jake, like he'd had it forever. And um, yeah, the backpack, I guess, is this, you know, this kind of grab bag of anything you could ever possibly think of. He's kind of like the MacGyver of schlubs. He's like, he knows if you're having a bad day and you get a burn, he knows that toothpaste and water is like the perfect remedy for it because he's experienced it before. So, yeah, it was fun to kind of create that. It's like it was a no-lose situation. It's, you know, it's Lindsay Lohan, it's Donald Petrie who directed it, who's did How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, who, you know, did Mystic Pizza with Julia Roberts when she, her first big role. Um, it was like a no-lose for me. It was just I could I could learn so much from both of them, and I hadn't done anything like broad comedy. It's only my second big film, and it was a pleasure and an honor to do it. I think it's your classic romantic comedy, but with this kind of great, broad, slapstick comedy that I don't think people see nowadays too much, uh, which is almost from a different era, you know? Um, that also has a great message. But yeah, a romantic comedy that's a great thing to take your date to on a Friday night. Like, who, you know, it's a, it's a feel-good movie, obviously. My folks were in the business, and my grandmother was in the business. My dad's been an actor for 40 years. Um, it was kind of organic. I don't know, I don't really discover it until college, and when I went to college, I was gonna play sports. I wanted to play sports, but, which was a total pipe dream, because I was way thinner than I am now, which is already too thin, and uh, um, I kind of discovered it haphazard, you know, um, by accident, and um, really enjoyed it.